What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Mr. Tontamonte Pheasant, as you all know by now. And um, today we're going to be doing um, the ill Gotten Games um, Part 2. It's finally here, so we're going to be going over over that. And um, also the Independence Day update has gone there, but this is my Independence Day look. Um, and yeah, this is the motorbike as well. And also a new addition, the... Um, 9F Cabrio, which is in real life the Audi R8 or an Audi, um, and also I might be selling that car there, but um, but keep my cars for now. And talking about cars and all that, today we're going to be going over some of um, the, the cars which has been added in and we've got to get into part two. And it is a big spend, it's in casino, as far as I'm aware, it's an out yet. It's not out yet, um, and they haven't released mansions yet, so um, expected they do delay stuff, but again, they've just added another car update, which we don't really need cars, we need ways of making money, buy casinos and whatever, um, and I would buy a uh, mansion as well. Um, so, we have got, starting off, I've got to go on part one, part two, I mean, um, we've got the Drink of Indicator, it's like a... Um, more like future motorbike, it's going to cost you 630000 out of your money straight away. Now, as you can see, I can buy it, but just like that's how much you've got. It's not a lot if you add all how much your um, at all the car, new cars cost. So it's bold and futuristic when you first look. Um, it's basically, it's like a carbon fibre bodywork and the engine is 670cc V T twin V twin um, power 29 HP um, top speed 110 miles per hour and 0, 0 to 60 in 8 seconds a good really good um, futuristic um, bike but prices are too high um, or unless Rockstar should find another way of earning money maybe a bit more and um, maybe f a bit faster at earning money or or there's something that you could do like a mission and you get money but it doesn't take as long so we're like about like um quick easy money like something like if you could get for a mission like 30,000 for doing something small but it doesn't take as long because people, that's why people are resort into glitching even though there's loads uh, being patched. Now we have got a car that everyone knows, the McLaren P1 which is in the, yeah, the Progen T20. It is really good, it's more expensive than the Osiris. Right, they are going to get more expensive. I'm judging the next car, they might make that look Three million. They the always the prices are climbing for cars for some reason. So it is. Um, this one's orange, and it is basically fuel efficiency, reduce carbon emissions. Who cares about that on GEA? Twin turbos charge V8 engine just give extra juice like a toaster in the bathtub. Yeah. Okay. Um, vehicle stats. Um, 41 V8, power 800 HP, top speed 220 miles per hour, so it is faster than the Osiris. I admit it is a nice car, but prices again, they should really lower them. Because I thought they were keeping them low, low because it was hard to get money on GTA. And 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, not bad. Re quite good, and the spoiler comes up like the actual McLaren P1. Um, and another one which I would say is like an older looking car but I wouldn't pay that much for this. Um, so it is a 1950s look uh, um, car and it's quite good um, um, by the looks of things. I haven't brought any of the 
part two, like I say, the money's too high. Um, as soon as matches come out, I'll probably buy GTA money. The engine is 327 UI V8. Correct me um, in the comments if I'm saying them wrong. Um, the power is 360 HP, top speed 155 miles per hour, and 0 to 69.6 seconds. Also, guys, um, um, I might be having a high video coming soon, maybe this week, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'll be having plenty of videos trying to come out. I might come out um, as well, um, even though this is a gaming channel, I might do when Windows 10 comes out on 29th of July. That's when I'm on holiday, but um, I might be able to get something good. Um, internet, I'll be trying to upload gameplays from my um, laptop, so we might be able to... Um, I'd always try and keep you up to date guys and so you've got the Gina basically I think it's another patch cheap car because Rocks I think oh, well we, we ought to give him the cheap car but it's got more experience it's like the Albini Virgo look it's like they're not the best cars in the world but they're still something 225,000 probably one of the cheapest out of all and yeah um, quite it's okay looking and um, it's engine 462 TUI V8, power 300 HP, top speed 120 miles an hour and um, miles per hour um, and 0 0.0 to 60, 10.1 seconds. I wouldn't pay for a car even, even if I had the money like that in real life for that money. Rockstar's going mad on the prices, and this is a well, well worth it car to pay. I still think it's pricey, but I think it's more worth it than the supercar. Because this is a really nice look, you can get off road, you can go anywhere. I'm not going to buy it personally because of the price, but um, it is worth it if you've really got low, you've got like a, maybe a couple of million or something on GTA. I've only got like that much, so that's what I'm saving up for mansions. But um, so it says if you want to cross the desert, rally raid, but non four by fours, we an offer. So it's like another really nice four by four. It's more futuristic, like that um, new motorbike. And the vehicle stats is engine 51 V8, power 400 HP, top speed. 135 miles per hour. It's only it's an off-road vehicle, so it's uh, all right. And not to 60, 6.2. Not bad. I, I think my favourite car out of all of them. My two favourite cars is the Crawl, the Brawler, and the Progen T20, uh, and then the Drinker Vindicator. But um, I think the best car. Um, even though it's a bit pricey, but it's not too pricey for what you get out of it. I think it should still be low, maybe 300,000, or it should be at least maybe less than 500,000. But but the price on it isn't bad for what you get. So it's not another fast car, like that's slightly faster than the Osiris, the Progen T20. Um, and you get a really nice look, really nice futuristic look, like we've bought motorbikes, who wants a new motor, motorbike on GTA, it's like, I'm not trying to put you off, it's still good, but it's nice to have, and I would say it's, it's, an, okay, it's an okay bike, but it's not really worthwhile to purchase, but to, to um, experience some good off-roading, I would purchase it, the coil roller. That's my favourite car, and then my second one's the Progen T20 because I think it's reasonably priced. It looks nice. It looks better than the motorbike, and it's a nice off-road vehicle. It still should be low. The price is all of the prices on the Elgato Gaze one is too high, but it's just looking to splash your cash on people. And um, Rockstar kind of think that you might have some left over from heist. But to be totally honest, I haven't even completed all the heist yet, so. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, um, comment down below what is your favourite car and comment down below what you would think all of these could be if low prices, I think the Osiris at the top price we should put it to like a million, 
I think one million nine hundred fifty thousand. The even on part one, just comments as well. And the Progen T twenty. No, I don't think it's worth that. For GTA, I think at least one one million. Um, one million six hundred fifty thousand. And the Osiris isn't worth it for the money. Um, this five hundred thousand top max and that. Oh, oh, oh. I would say 100,000, that 500,000, lower a bit more, and the drinker vindicator, I would lower that to 450,000, just what I would think, I would be happy on pain, I would pay a bit, I would be more likely to pay it if it was cheaper. So guys, um, new, um, and just before um, we just close it off and all that um ju just to let you know guys um maybe maybe just to, just to check out and all that um um just came on my channel and just to thanks for support maybe a little bit of nice comments and all that on my channel um check out this gaming channel i tend to just say check out gaming channels um not necessarily subscribe subscribe if you do you like the content? If you don't, bear in mind recording with camcorder to get a capture card soon. Is um, it's called Zector 120. Um, just a little bit of GTA and all that. He doesn't do commentaries, but it's kind of like with music. If you know what I mean, it's kind of you could kind of class it as like a small film to get or whatever. Uh, so to check out his channel link will be in the description. Um, just thanks for support. Um, I do try, try and say it. and also um, subscribe to Dylan Plays Live, that will be in the description, so both of those in the description um, uh, as well, so give, give him all your kind of specialty Dylan Plays Live because he has really given me support, so thanks to him, um, I might have not had as many subscribers, not those were not as many and guys um the channels my channel's going quite well um just looking now so 180 subscribers if that has advanced no um and it's been going up quite good because like five days two days and all that so you can few in in those those weeks so in, in the week so i'm happy with what i'm getting um be sure to subscribe if you know. Um, even if you've just seen this, sorry if I'm blabbering on a bit. Um, it it will help me out a lot. Um, Twitter, everything in the description, Instagram and whatever. Um, even though I don't post on Instagram or Facebook, but it's all like, in the description. Email me at missbontman2000 at yahoo.com. Um, smash the like button 